That's hand sanitizer. It burns. <laughs> That's the scene right there. That right there, that is Tiffany Haddish's breakout performance in Girls Trip, one of our favorite movies here mm -hmm. last year. And here she is announcing the Oscar nominations yesterday. And some people thought she had a rough right. time with right. it, but others loved it. And they were saying that Tiffany Haddish should get an Oscar nomination for hosting the nominations. But she didn't get a nod for that role in Girls Trip. And comedic performances, as we know, rarely recognize at Oscar time. Now the Huffington Post is suggesting it's time to rethink what we consider an Oscar performance. And our good friend and media expert, Larry Hackett, you weigh in on that. What do you think about that? Look, if you're looking for a comedy to be recognized, the Oscars is not the place to go. You know, Melissa McCarthy got a nomination five years ago for Bridesmaids. Right. The last person to win one that we all remember was Marissa Tomei from My Cousin Vinny in 1992. Cast your mind back. The last comedy to win an Oscar for Best Picture, Annie Hall, 1978. So this is not the place that comedies get recognized. You might know that there's a category at the Golden Globes, which is musical and comedy. Why? In part to recognize performances like this. That's why. But why do you why do you think comedies aren't aren't valued among Oscars? Because it's an old-fashioned organization that likes to recognize drama. That's why. So that's what that's what that's what. That's what this is about, right? It's these movies that come out in the yeah. fall that are dramatic. Look at the nominations, Dunkirk, Darkest Hour, uh, The Post. These are the kind mm -hmm. of pictures that are traditionally the sort of things that lead the pack. Maybe not those particular pictures this year, but that's what the Oscar voters but look for. But there are some movies that a lot of people haven't seen. That's right. That's right. And it's kind of going more and more in that direction. And look, that's not just about the pictures that are getting made. It's the way we watch movies. People right. are doing this at home. They're watching Netflix, which gets nominated. But there is an increasing gap between pictures. There's an increasing gap between how movies fit in the culture, right? These are not all movies that everybody so are they sees. Are talking to themselves? In some degree, <laughs> they are talking to themselves. <laughs> yeah. And when you, see, when you see people talking about the snubs and how this screenplay didn't get nominated and this you know, uh, cinematography didn't get nominated, that's not something that people talk about. That's why I love Get Out, though, because mm. it, was, it was like a dark comedy thriller all in one. It was mm -hmm. just so ingenious in terms of its format. And everybody came back to work on Monday talking about that movie, and they're still yeah. talking about it in February, a year after it was released. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was an amazing movie. You just said it was a comedy. It was not funny, though. It was, though. Yeah. It was, it was funny, though. But, but like, when you look back, you, you kind of go, okay. It was, not, it was a drama, it was a comedy, and then it became a very kind of sharp political uh, yeah. story as well. It's true. Uh, yeah. 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 It, it had everything, George. <laughs> it everything. had everything. I agree with you, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you, Larry. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.